بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از اور ففتھ لیب ڈیٹ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو چیپٹر فائیو راسٹر ڈیٹا ماڈل فالو اور ٹائم لائن ایز واٹ از راسٹر ڈیٹا ماڈل اینڈ دین وی ول ویو راسٹر ڈیٹا وچ از بیسیکلی اے ڈیم آف یو ایس جی ایس اینڈ دین وی ول ویو اے سیٹلائٹ ایمیج ڈیٹ از بیسیکلی راسٹر فائل ان آرک میپ اینڈ وی ول کنورٹ سم ویکٹر ڈیٹا ٹو راسٹر ڈیٹا ڈیٹ از ایکچولی راسٹرائزیشن and we will learn some concepts related to vectorization and then we will finally be conclude our lab so the first thing what is basically a raster data model so a raster data it is uh, usually in the form of grids and the concept can be made more clear uh, when we will uh, practically perform the lab session in uh, arc map environment so as a first step what you have to do is to launch your uh, arc catalog and connect your Uh, folder to chapter 5 database once you can are uh, connected with the chapter 5 by clicking on this connect to folder icon as we have connected our folders in the previous lab now in this uh, chapter 5 you have multiple data sets available so uh, the first task it ask you to convert basically a file from some other format to the raster format Uh, that is actually not required because that file can be viewed in arc map but you can convert the file the first thing that is to view a dem what basically a dem is dem is basically a digital elevation model you just have to launch arc map click on add data browse to task 1 and add your this file dot ddf file now this is basically a dem the current version of arc map it successfully adds this dem into your environment you just have to add this data change its symbology and click ok now here you can see that these are some higher elevation areas and uh, these are actually lower elevation areas so as we can see that these are higher elevation areas so they might represent mountain peaks so this is basically a raster data in uh, if you go to the properties of the raster data you will notice that you will have a general tab source tab in source tab you will have the pixel size 30 by 30 meter how many columns it has how many rows it has and what is the pixel depth and uh, other information coordinate information extent information how many bands it has and uh, how it can be displayed and its symbology right here in the symbology you can uh, classify as well this raster data just go to the classified section and click apply and okay so your data will be classified into classes so this is the method to add the raster data and view it for example if i add some vector data over here uh, idtm.shp or any file just click add and just zoom to layer here this is the vector file if go, you go to the property section of the vector file uh, you will notice that it is very different than uh, that from raster file go to the source tab you will see that there is no bands now there is only point line or polygon information right so you go to symbology you can categorize it other form in raster you have the different form here you can have fields labels joiner relates html pop up etc you can open the attribute table of this vector data but if you click on the raster data you cannot have the attribute table or displayed over here so these are some differences between the vector data and the raster data raster data is usually in the form of grids and uh, vector data is basically in the form of point line and polygon our second task is to add uh, satellite image which is basically tmrect.bil format click okay and just remove this layer now and click zoom to layer so this is the satellite image that is displayed in the arc map here the first thing you have to do is to you can see that as it is raster so no attribute table go to the properties and uh, you can see the cell size 25 by 25 and the band information how many bands it has it has five bands now extent display and similarly symbology time etc now you can change the band combination for example if you just right click uh, if you just uh, left click here in the red so you can change it to third band second band and let's change it to the first band so 3 to 1 is a natural band combination you can see that things they are more uh, looking natural let's change to some other let's change to 
4 and 2. So by changing band combination you can see that water bodies they are very clear now. This barren land is clear, this forest is very clear now. So you can change the band combination by left click and just change your bands. Other thing you can do with this roster is to go to the properties, go to the symbology section and in the symbology section you can actually uh, change the color ramp for example if I want my raster to be displayed like this just click apply and ok so you can see that it has been moved towards uh, moved like this section so this is some uh, basic of raster data and similarly you can see the extent of the raster data from here now moving on our third task that is basically to convert vector data to the raster data as you uh, I have already added a data earlier to show the difference between raster and vector for example let's add some file nw counties or nw roads just remove this earlier layer and zoom to this layer now this is basically a vector file how can we say that it has an attribute table if you go to the properties section you will have the symbology categories and there are a lot of field if just click on the attribute table you will see that you will have different polygons drawn each polygon has some area, population, etc. Now, in order to convert the vector data to raster data, you will have some tool. If you just go to the search tab and click here vector to raster, type here vector to raster. And now, to convert, uh, you can uh, actually use the search tab or go to Arc Toolbox. And in our toolbox you have the uh, conversion tools and here uh, you have two raster tool in uh, two raster tool you can see that you have a feature to raster just click on this now specify your feature data set and uh, the field on the basis of which you want to create your uh, raster you can specify your cell size and click ok once the process will uh, be completed your raster data will be added to uh, arc map environment so here you can see that now your vector data has been converted into a raster data now important thing to note that when you converted a vector data to raster data earlier in raster we do not have an attribute table now we have a attribute table so when in case of raster you have attribute table that is not actually called attribute table that is called as VAT value attribute table right it shows you values and how many counts they have and the name which we have earlier selected so it is value attribute table VAT right and in that case it is only attribute table so this is basically VAT value attribute table of the raster and you can see that the representation is now not now polygon but actually a continuous data right so there is no polygon drawn like in vector data we have a polygon for example I just uh, click on this select tool and click on this polygon I can select it right just clear the selected feature in case of raster there is no uh, separate selection but a continuous data is now uh, here similarly you can uh, just export your data as well to other formats tiff imagine etc and uh, you can go to the properties section you can change the symbology you can change the classes as you want you can change the color ramp right apply okay so uh, these are some basics of raster data model you can now uh, actually apply them and learn different things from uh, raster data you can actually stretch this if you want do not want a classified but a single uh, representation for example this is lower value 1 higher value is 106 so uh, these are some basics of raster data model now I hope we are clear with the difference between a vector data and a raster data. Vector data is in the form of point line and polygon and a raster data is basically uh, continuous data or the data in the form of grid. In this data we have attribute table, in this data we will have no attribute table but if there is an attribute table that will be called as value attribute table. Right so let's uh, have a quick revision we are now clear with what is raster data model. We have imported them data, we have viewed the satellite image and we converted the vector data to raster data uh, two things you must be um, you must be familiar with one is vectorization and one is rasterization if you convert a vector data to raster data and if you want to convert a raster data back to a vector data you can do that in uh, arcmap
so uh, this is basically all for today's lab thank you